Party list representation in the House of Representatives of the Philippines refers to a system in which 20% of the House of Representatives is elected. While the House is predominantly elected by a plurality voting system, known as a first-past-the-post system, party list representatives are elected by a type of party list proportional representation. The 1987 Constitution of the Philippines created the party list system. Purportedly underrepresented community sectors or groups, including labor, peasant, urban poor, indigenous cultural, women, youth, and other such sectors as may be defined by law except the religious sector, may participate in the party list election. A religious group, Buhe Haiyan Yumabong, claiming to represent pro-life proponents in the country, has however been allowed by the Philippines Commission on Elections COMELEC, to participate in the elections. The determination of what parties are allowed to participate, who their nominees should be, how the winners should be determined, and the allocation of seats for the winning parties, has been controversial ever since the party list election was first contested in 1998 and has resulted in several landmark Comelec and Supreme Court cases. Party list representatives are indirectly elected via a party list election wherein the voter votes for the party and not for the party. S nominees closed list. The votes are then arranged in descending order, with the parties that won at least 2% of the national vote given one seat, with additional seats determined by a formula dependent on the number of votes garnered by the party. No party wins more than three seats. If the number of sectoral representatives does not reach 20% of the total number of representatives in the House, parties that haven T1 seats but garnered enough votes to place them among the top sectoral parties are given a seat each until the 57 seats are filled. A voter therefore has two parallel votes in House of Representatives elections for district representative and for the under-represented sectoral party list representative S. Neither vote affects the other. Party list representation makes use of the tendency for proportional representation systems to favor single-issue parties, and applies that tendency to allow underrepresented sectors to represent themselves in the lawmaking process. Manner of election Constitution The Constitution mandates that the sectoral representatives shall compose 20% of the House of Representatives. For three consecutive terms after the ratification of the Constitution, one half of the seats allocated to party list representatives were filled by selection or election. For the 1987, 1992 and 1995 elections, the President appointed sectoral representatives, subject to the confirmation from the Commission on Appointments, half of whose members are derived from the House of Representatives. Party List System Act on March 3, 1995, Republic Act No. 7941 or the Party List System Act was signed into law. It mandated that the state shall promote proportional representation in the election of representatives to the House of Representatives through a party list system. The five political parties with the highest number of members at the start of the Tenth Congress of the Philippines were banned from participating. Each voter can vote one party via closed list. Votes are then tallied nationwide as one at large district, with the number of sectoral representatives not to surpass 20% of the total number of representatives. The law provided that each party that has 2% of the national vote be entitled one seat each, and an additional seat for every 2% of the vote thereafter until a party has three seats. This means that a party can win the maximum three seats if it surpasses 6% of the national vote. While the law was first used for the 1998 election, and several parties did meet the 2% quota during the succeeding elections, they did not fill up the required 20% allocation for party list representatives of the Constitution. Furthermore, the votes for parties that had more than 6% of the vote were considered wasted. Ateneo de Manila University mathematics professor Felix Mugatu said that. Any seat allocation formula that imposes a seat capping mechanism on the party list proportional representation voting system contradicts the social justice provision of the 1987 Constitution. 
Any vacancy is filled by the person next in line on the list. In cases where a seated sectoral representative switches parties, that representative loses their seat and the person next in line on the list assumes the seat. Contestations Veterans Federation Party et al. versus Comelec. In 2000, the Veterans Federation Party, VFP, the Akbayan. Citizens Action Party and several other parties sued the Comelec which led a case in the Supreme Court. The court ruling changed the way how the seats are allocated for the winning parties. In 1998, only 14 representatives were elected out of 13 winning parties, well short of the then 52 representatives needed to fill up 20% of the House. The so-called Panganaban Formula named after Chief Justice Artemio Panganaban, calculates that the number of seats a party will win is dependent on the number of votes of the party with the highest number of votes. The court maintained the four inviolable parameters. First, the 20% allocation, the combined number of all party list congressmen shall not exceed 20% of the total membership of the House of Representatives, including those elected under the party list. Second, the 2% threshold, only those parties garnering a minimum of 2% of the total valid votes cast for the party list system are qualified to have a seat in the House of Representatives. Third, the three-seat limit, each qualified party, regardless of the number of votes it actually obtained, is entitled to a maximum of three seats, that is, one qualifying, and two additional seats. Fourth, proportional representation, the additional seats which a qualified party is entitled to shall be computed, in proportion to their total number of votes. The court came up with the following procedure on how to determine how many seats a party wins. First, the party with the highest number of votes gets at least one seat. It can win additional seats for every 2% of the national vote until it reaches the three-seat limit. Therefore, T P S equals one if G greater than equals zero point zero two Display style TP underscore S equals one tilde M box if tilde G greater than equals zero point zero two T P S equals two if G greater than equals 0.04 display style tp underscore s equals 2 tilde m box if tilde g greater than equals 0.04 t p s equals 3 if g greater than equals 0 0.06 display style tp underscore s equals 3 tilde m box if tilde g greater than equals 0 0.06 where tps is the number of seats of the top party G is the percentage of votes garnered by the sectoral organization, for the other parties surpassing the 2% threshold, they all automatically win one seat, additional seats will be won according to the following formula. S equals P V T P times T P S display style mathrm S equals frac mathrm P V mathrm T P times T P underscore S, where S is the number of seats, P V is the votes for the party, T P is the votes of the top party. 
TPs is the number of seats of the top party, the product, disregarding integers, is the number of additional seats for the party. Prior to the adopting the Panganaban formula, the court considered applying the Niemeyer formula used in the allocation of seats in the German Bundestag. However, since RA 7941 limits the maximum number of seats for each party to three of the existence of a 2% quota, and that 20% of the seats can be filled up, the court instead devised the formula above to ensure that the 20% allocation for sectoral representatives would not be exceeded, the 2% threshold will be upheld, the three-seat limit enforced and the proportional representation be respected. The formula was first used in determining the result of the 2001, and was first applied in the 2004 elections. The use of this formula by the Comelec had been labeled by certain groups as to annihilate independent voices in the House. According to Akbayan representative Etta Rosales, the court upheld this in subsequent cases, such as the Partido ng Mongagawa v. Comelec and Citizens Battle Against Corruption v. Comelec. Panganaban in 2010 remarked in a lecture at the Ateneo Law School that, It's very complicated and there must be an easier formula to compute. Adding that the party list law has to be amended by Congress. Bannett v. Comelec in 2007, another party list group, the Barangay Association for National Advancement and Transparency, Banat, now Barangay Natan, sued the Comelec for not proclaiming the full number of party list representatives, they were not among on those who were proclaimed winners. As with the other cases, the Supreme Court condensed all the cases to one case. The court ruled on April 21, 2009 that the 2% election threshold unconstitutional, and stipulated that for every four legislative districts created, one seat for sectoral representatives should be created. This thereby increased the sectoral seats in the 14th Congress from 22 to 55. The Supreme Court, however, upheld the three-seat cap. To determine the number of seats for sectoral representatives, the formula for the quotient is S equals D 0 0.8 times 0 0.2 display style S equals left FRAC D 0 0.8 right times 0 0.2 where S is the number of seats allocated for sectoral representation D is the total number of district representatives, and D 0 0.8 is the total number of members of the House. To get the first guaranteed seat, a sectoral party or organization should at least get 2% of the total votes cast for partly list elections. The formula for the quotient is G equals P B display style G equals frac P B where G is the percentage of votes garnered by the sectoral organization P is the total number of votes gained by the sectoral organization and B is the total number of votes cast in the party list representation election therefore R one equals one if G greater than equals zero point zero two Display style R underscore one equals one tilde M box if tilde G greater than equals zero point zero two if the total number of guaranteed seats awarded is less than the total number of seats reserved for sectoral representatives S, the unassigned seats will award it in the second round of seat allocation. To get the number of additional seats, this formula will be followed. R 2 equals S minus T one times G 
Display style R underscore two equals ST underscore one times G where R two display style R underscore two is the total number of additional seats awarded to the sectoral organization. S is the number of seats allocated for party list representatives. T one display style T underscore one is the total number awarded seats. R one display style R underscore one in the first round of seat allocation and G is the percentage of votes garnered by the sectoral organization. Note R two display style R underscore two should appear as whole integer. If the total number of seats awarded after two rounds is still less than the total number of seats reserved for sectoral representatives S, the remaining seats will be assigned to sectoral organizations next in rank, one seat each organization, whose R 2 display style R underscore 2 result is zero until all available seats are completely distributed. T three equals S minus T one minus T two Display style T underscore three equals ST underscore one T underscore two where T three display style T underscore three is the total number of sectoral organizations next in rank in round two to be given with one seat. S is the number of seats allocated for party list representatives. T one Display style T underscore one is the total number awarded seats in the first round of seat allocation and T two display style T underscore two is the total number awarded seats in the second round of seat allocation. This is essentially a hair quota, with the following exceptions. The 2% election threshold automatically awards parties one seat. This means that the total seats that will be disputed is the difference of the number of party list seats and the number of parties that surpassed the threshold. The fractional remainder is disregarded. The seats that could have been distributed from the fractional remainders are given to parties that quotas less than one after the threshold. The party cannot win more than three seats. With the large number of parties contesting, this means the share of the votes the parties get are small. In 2010, the party with the most votes, Ako Bicol Political Party, won 5.20% of the vote. The only way a party S votes can be wasted is if its quota after the threshold is four or more. This can be affected if several parties surpass the threshold, thus lessening the number of seats to be distributed, or if a party wins via a landslide. In 2010, AKB's quota after threshold was 2.33, or, disregarding decimals, 2. This entitled them to two additional seats aside from the automatic one seat they've won by surpassing the threshold. Senator Joker Arroyo criticized the ruling of the Supreme Court, saying that the court overreached itself and engaged in judicial legislation. Arroyo later compared with parties with between 155,000 to 197,000 votes. A measly 1% to 1.24% of the votes. To a city which needs a population of 250,000 or more to obtain its own legislative district. 
Summary Example in 2010, there are 57 party list seats being contested, with 29,311,294 valid votes cast, and 12 parties having at least 2% of the vote. Ako Bicol Political Party topped the vote, receiving 1,524,006 votes or 5.20% of the vote. First round R 1 equals 1 since 0 0.0519 greater than equals 0 0.02 display style r underscore 1 equals 1 tilde m box since approximately 0 0.0519 greater than equals 0 0.02 Second round R two equals fifty seven minus twelve times zero point zero five one nine Display style R underscore two equals fifty seven to twelve times zero 0519 R 2 equals 45 times 0 0.0519 display style R underscore 2 equals 45 times 0 0.0519 R 2 equals 2.3397 display style r underscore 2 equals 2.3397 disregarding decimals r 2 equals 2 Display style R underscore two equals two. Both rounds S equals one plus two equals three. Display style S equals one plus two equals three. Hence, AKB won three seats in the House of Representatives. Akbayan Citizens Action Party received 1,061,947 votes or 3.62% of the vote. First round R 1 equals 1 since 0 0.0362 greater than equals 0 0.02 display style r underscore 1 equals 1 tilde m box since approximately 0 0.0362 greater than equals 0 0.02 second round r 2 equals 57 minus 12 times 0 0.0362 display style r underscore 2 equals 57 to 12 times 0 0.0362 r 2 equals 45 times 0 0.0362 display style r underscore 2 equals 45 times 0 0 0362 r 2 equals 1.6303 
Display style R underscore two equals one point six three zero three. Disregarding decimals R two equals one. Display style R underscore two equals one. Both rounds S equals one plus one equals two. Display style S equals one plus one equals two. Hence, Akbayan won two seats in the House of Representatives. Alagad received 227,281 or 0.78% of the vote. First round R 0 equals 0 since 0.0078 greater than equals 0 0.02 display style r underscore 0 equals 0 tilde m box since approximately 0 0.0078 greater than equals 0 0.02 second round at this point 35 seats have already been awarded r 2 equals 57 minus 35 times 0 0.0078 display style r underscore 2 equals 57 to 35 times 0 0.0078 r 2 equals 45 times 0 0.0078 display style r underscore 2 equals 45 times 0 0.0078 r 2 equals 0 0.3489 Display style R underscore two equals zero. Three thousand four hundred eighty nine. Disregarding decimals R two equals zero. Display style R underscore two equals zero. Both rounds S equals 0 plus 0 equals 0 display style s equals 0 plus 0 equals 0 however not all seats have been distributed therefore alagad won one seat in the house of representatives Issues concerning party list group nominees Major parties' involvement While the party list system has been used by some sectors that have not been able to participate in government in order to have a voice in Congress, allegations from left-leaning party list organizations state that several parties were used as fronts by then-President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo s ruling administration to further its interests. Parties such as 1UTAK, purportedly representing transport groups, and PACYAW, which claims to advocate athletes and sports personnel, have government officials for nominees. 
The first nominee of Ang Galing Pinoy, for instance, a group claiming to represent security guards and tricycle drivers, was former Pampanga 2nd District Representative Mikey Arroyo, the son of the former president. Arroyo won a seat through Ang Galing Pinoy in the 2010 election. On the other hand, a disqualification case had been brought up against the left leaning parties in the Bagong Alyansing Makabayan, New Patriotic Alliance, bloc including Bayan Muna, Nation. First, Kabatan Party List, Youth Party List, Gabriela Women's Party, and Anakpas. The case alleged that the personalities in these parties were merely pursuing ideological objectives within Congress to support the outlawed Communist Party of the Philippines' objective of overthrowing the ruling system through bloody means. Ang Bagong Bayani OFW Labor Party vs. Comalac In 2002, the Supreme Court ruled in Ang Bagong Bayani OFW Labor Party vs. Comalac that nominees must be Filipino citizens belonging to marginalized and unrepresented sectors, organizations and parties, as the Constitution intended to give genuine power to the people, not only by giving more law to those who have less in life, but more so by enabling them to become veritable lawmakers themselves. Banat versus Comalac in the same Banat versus Comalec case stated above, while the ponencia thereof pointed out that neither the 1987 Constitution nor RA 7941 prohibits major political parties from participating in the party list election, it was emphasized that they must do so by establishing or forming coalitions with sectoral organizations for electoral or political purposes. In fact, Associate Justice Antonio Carpio noted that it is not necessary that the party list organization's nominee wallow in poverty, destitution and infirmity, as there is no financial status required by the law. This effectively allowed anyone to be nominated by a party participating in the party list election. However, by a vote of 8 to 7, the Supreme Court still decided to continue disallowing major political parties from participating in the party list elections, directly or indirectly. Results References Further reading Veterans Federation Party, et. Al. vs. Comalec, rules the 2% minus 4% to 6% allocation of seats as unconstitutional, replacing it with a formula where the number of seats won depends on the lead of the party that finished first. Ang Bagong Bayani OFW Labor Party vs. Comalec, on which parties can participate in the party list election. Barangay Association for National Advancement and Transparency vs. Comalec, declares the 2% threshold unconstitutional, proscribes the use of the hair quota in determining the number of seats won, while still allowing the three-seat cap. Atong Paglom vs. Comalec, opens the participation in the party list election of major parties, as long as they are sectoral wings of it, separate and distinct from the mother party, and is linked to the latter via a coalition agreement. See also Methods of determining winners in party list proportional representation Highest averages method De Haunt Method St. Log Method Largest Remainder Method Hair Quota Droop Quota Imperiali Quota <laughs>